Hello and welcome back to our online English class. Today we are going to finish Unit 10, which means we are going to finish our book. You finally made it. You've come a long way and I'm sure you are proud of yourself for continuing the lessons despite uh, the coronavirus situation. So I hope you learned a lot, uh, but uh, let's go ahead and begin <laughs> before we get too excited about the end. So uh, we're actually going to review uh, lesson E. So let's take a look at this worksheet. Okay. Um, complete the paragraph. So um, read this article about the Lincoln Park Zoo and um, use the phrases and, se and sentences in the box to complete the story. Okay? So you can pause the video and continue when you're finished. Okay, so let's look at this together. One of the most popular zoos in the Midwest is Lincoln Park Zoo in Chicago, Illinois. It is located on North Clark Street near the center of the city. It is open from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. every day except Mondays. Admission is free. The zoo has something for everyone. It has animals from all over the world. And then we can say if, oops, if you oh, okay. like elephants and tigers, you can go on the African safari ride. Okay, and then so if you like birds, oops, you will enjoy the scenic paddle boat cruise. Okay, and then if you have children, they will love the story time entertainment. If you want to relax, you can go to the Big Cat's Cafe and enjoy ice cream. At the end of your visit, you can buy gifts in the zoo store. Children and adults love to visit Lincoln Park Zoo. Okay, uh, so if, uh, if you remember from our unit, la our lesson last time, we practiced making complex sentences uh, using uh, dependent clauses beginning with if. So I hope you um, were able to uh, make more sentences and practice with uh, these types of sentences. Uh, they are very common, so it would be very good to uh, continue using these sentences. Okay, um, and uh, this type of sentence is called future real conditional, if you remember. Okay, uh, and by the way, uh, I have been here before, and it really is nice. Uh, and I love that it is free and that there are lots of animals. Uh, it's very surprising that it's free, especially considering there are so many things to see. And uh, it's actually uh, next to uh, another very nice and free exhibit. Um, it's called the Lincoln, Cons uh, Lincoln Park Conservatory. Conservatory. Uh, it's kind of like a greenhouse. Uh, so if you love uh, flowers and plants, then I highly recommend the Lincoln Park Conservatory. It's very nice and also, and, and it's free. <laughs> so, uh, I think they might also be closed on Mondays too. Uh, so you can look up the information on uh, the internet, uh, but this is a great place to visit uh, if you are in Chicago. Okay, and then let's take a look at exercise B. Answer the questions. What is the main topic of the paragraph? Okay, and um, this is not a sentence, but you can make it into a sentence. And you can say, the main topic of the paragraph is uh, things you can do at Lincoln Park Zoo. So I want you to do numbers two and three. Uh, you don't have to make a sentence for number two. You can just list them. Uh, of course, the blanks are too small to make a sentence anyway. So list them. Uh, but 
uh, practice making the sentence verbally. So after you list them, just say the sentences out loud. Okay? And then number three, um, you should make a complete sentence. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> you can pause the video and continue when you're finished. Okay, so let's take a look at number two. What are five things to do at the zoo? Okay, so you can say um, African Safari Cruise, I'm sorry, Ride. And of course, you can say, you can go on the African Safari Ride. Okay, go on the African Safari Ride. Uh, and then let's say, Scenic Paddle Boat Cruise. Okay, uh, so for this one too, uh, you can say, uh, you can go on the scenic paddle boat cruise. Okay, and then the uh, next one is um, story time entertainment. Okay, uh, you can say uh, you can um, listen to or you can uh, go to the story time entertainment. Okay. So um, in this case, we say go to uh, instead of go on, but we use go on for rides and cruises and also vacations and trips. We say go on a vacation, go on a trip. Okay, and then D, uh, you can say um, Big Cats Cafe. Okay, so uh, for this one, you can say also go to. You can go to Big Cat's Cafe, just like here in the sentence. You can go to the Big Cat's Cafe and enjoy ice cream. If you want to include that, you can say that as well. And then letter E, um, buy gifts uh, in the zoo store. Okay, so uh, for this, this sentence too, you can say, you can buy gifts in the zoo store, just like this part right here. Okay, now you might notice that I didn't uh, capitalize this one or this one, uh, but I capitalized this one, this one, and this one. And that's because these are all proper nouns. African is a proper noun. Story time is a proper noun because it's the name of the entertainment. And then Big Cat's Cafe, this is also uh, all capitalized because um, it's the name of the cafe. Okay, so number three, what can you do at the end of your visit? Um, so if you look here, it says at the end of your visit, you can buy gifts in the zoo store. So that's actually the same answer as letter E, uh, and that's fine. Um, so you can say, uh, for, oops, for this one, you need, need to make a sentence. You need to write the whole sentence. You can buy gifts in the zoo store. Okay? Um, and if you want, you can include at the end of your visit. Okay? And um, if you want to write something different here, you can say uh, maybe enjoy ice cream. Uh, as, as you can see here. But that's part of what you do at Big Cat's Cafe, so um, it's fine if you have it separately or together uh, and then have the same answer for letter E and number three. Okay, uh, so now we are going to look at our student's book, um, lesson F. So open your student's book to page 132. Page 132. Okay, so Let's look at this web page. Looks like a web page. As you can see, there's a URL, www.comparehotel.com. Okay, so uh, we can see two hotels or inns in this case. Uh, an inn is usually like a more budget hotel, like a cheaper hotel. Uh, and uh, we can see Gateway Inn and Western Universal Inn. It looks like they are both located in Florida. So uh, you can see some categories like the amenities, distance from destinations, room rates, and room tax. 
Okay, so look at this information and I want you to answer the questions, uh, numbers one through four. And as you answer the questions, I want you to make, uh, make, uh, set complete sentences, uh, for each one. Uh, and, um, after you do that, I also want you to, um, make questions for each of these categories. Okay. Make questions for the categories. Uh, so for example, let's just start with a very simple one. We can say, what is the room tax? That's all we need to say. What is the room tax? Or you can say, what is the room tax percentage? Or what is the room tax rate? Okay. Um, uh, you could also say, how much is the room tax? But uh, I, I think I mentioned this before. Usually when we talk about tax or rate, we uh, use what is instead of how much is. Okay, so go ahead and take some time to uh, complete numbers one through four and remember to make sentences and also questions for each category. Well, there are only going to be four questions because um, both categories for the hotels are the uh, same. Okay, so pause the video and continue when you're finished. Okay, so let's look at number one. What is the rate for a standard room at the Gateway Inn? Okay, so as you can see, what is the rate? That's the question um, format we use. Okay, so we can say the rate for a standard room at the Gateway Inn is $130 to $160. Okay, so you can see here standard. Okay, uh, so again, the rate for a standard room at the Gateway Inn is one hundred thirty to one hundred sixty dollars. So letter B. Okay, and then number two, which statement is true? Okay, so uh, let's read each one. The Gateway Inn is less expensive than the Western Universal Inn. So if you look at the prices and compare them, uh, we can see that it is true. Okay, so A is true, and then B, the Western Universal is farther away from theme parks than the Gateway Inn. So let's check the distance from destinations. Uh, so let's see, where is theme parks? Right here. So uh, we see 12 miles for Western Universal and 3.5 miles for Gateway Inn. So this is also true. Okay. And then let number three, or letter C, both hotels have pools. Let's check the amenities. Okay. We can see outdoor pool here and then here also outdoor pool. So both hotels have pools. That is true. So we can conclude that all of the above are true. All of the above are true. Or you can also say all of the above statements are true. Okay, number three, where can children eat for free? So let's see, children can eat for free at the Gateway Inn, right over here. Kids eat free. So children can eat for free at the Gateway Inn. Okay, and then number four, look at the examples of amenities in the two ads. Which of the following is the best definition for amenities? Okay, so you can see that the answer is letter B. So we can say the best definition for amenities is things that come with a hotel. Okay, we use is because definition is singular. So um, the best definition is things that come with the hotel. Okay. And then um, let's, uh, oh, by the way, so common amenities are things like um, fitness centers, pools, uh, free transportation, iron, hair dryer, wireless internet, or Wi-Fi. Um, so um, you can see some other ones here. Uh, so let's make questions. Okay, so uh, for amenities, you might ask, um, what kind of amenities are included? Or what kind of amenities, or just what amenities do the hotels have? Uh, and if you want to make a singular question, you can say, what uh, kind of amenities does the Gateway Inn have? 
What kind of amenities does the Western Universal Inn have? Okay, uh, and then distance from destination. Distance from destinations. Okay, so uh, you can ask how far is the hotel from theme parks, okay, or destinations nearby. You can say how far are the hotels or how far is the hotel from destinations, okay? But it's a little bit better to just use a uh, specific destination instead of just saying destinations because, of course, there are many different destinations. So, um, for example, here you can see uh, that the Universal Western, Western Universal Inn is uh, 47 miles away from Daytona Beach, okay? Uh, so let's look at room rates. So we can ask, what are the room rates? So in this case, we have to use plural because it says rates. What are the room rates for the Gateway Inn? What are the room rates for the Western Universal Inn? Okay, uh, now let's practice making sentences for the questions that we made. So what are the amenities or what kind of amenities does the Gateway Inn have? What amenities does the Gateway Inn have? So we might say, they have a restaurant in the lobby. Okay, so uh, remember we talked about um, lists and notes uh, that they are not complete sentences. They are just brief and missing lots of words like verbs or um, articles like the, uh, okay? So uh, if you look at these um, lists, we can make sentences like they, uh, there is a restaurant in the lobby or they have a restaurant in the lobby, okay? And even though Gateway Inn is singular, as I mentioned before, when we talk about a company, we use they, okay, uh, for the plural, uh, for the pronoun. So you can say they have a restaurant in the lobby, okay, or there is a restaurant in the lobby, okay. Um, and you can include and kids eat free. Kids eat free, okay. Um, so let's see. Uh, we can also say they have an outdoor pool. They have a fitness center. And then uh, for golf nearby, golf is a sport and we do not need to say a, uh, you can just say golf. So they have golf nearby or there is golf nearby. Uh, and then also uh, they have free transportation to local theme parks. Okay, so uh, depending on how you want to make the sentence, you can use they have or there is. Uh, so if you want, you can even make one whole sentence. You can say, they have a restaurant in the lobby, an outdoor pool, a fitness center, golf nearby, and free transportation to local theme parks. Okay, and now let's make a sentence for uh, this question. How far is the Gateway Inn from theme parks? Okay, how far is the Gateway Inn from theme parks? So we can say, uh, the Gateway Inn is 3.5 miles away from theme parks. Gateway Inn is 3.5 miles away from theme parks. Okay, and then uh, room rates. What are the room rates? Uh, now there are three categories, budget, standard, and deluxe. Okay, uh, another word for budget, sometimes you see economy. Economy, budget, uh, and those are uh, better words uh, than cheap. If you just see the word cheap, then of course uh, a guest might not um, like that word. They might think, oh, it's cheap, so it's probably not good quality. Okay, so um, instead of using cheap, it's better to use budget or economy for uh, things like um, this, uh, like a hotel room. Uh, and even flights too, like budget flights, budget airlines. Okay, uh, which basically means cheap airlines. Okay, so we uh, we might say um, the rates for or the rate for a budget room at the Gateway Inn 
is 100 to 120 dollars. In fact, we practice this sentence from uh, number one here, so you already know how to do it. Uh, so we're going to move on to room tax. Okay. Um, how much is the room tax, or what is the room tax? So we can say the room tax is six percent. Okay. The room tax at the Gateway Inn is six percent. Okay. Or you can also say four Gateway Inn is six percent. All right. So just like we practiced here, I want you to do the same thing for these sentences, uh, for these categories. Make sentences with the Western Universal Inn categories. Okay, and when you're finished, you can move on to part two of the video. Part two.